Hi Noble Knitters, it's Suzanne with NobleKnits.com here with another crochet technique. Today's technique is weaving in your tail pieces of yarn to finish off your project. So what you'll need is your project with your four to five inches worth of tail and then you'll also need uh, a yarn needle, a darning needle. Um, it's a, a big eyed needle with a blunt tip. So it's easy because it's got a big eye, it's easy to get your yarn in. And um, I found this to be the easiest way to get your yarn in these needles is to bend it in half and then uh, you can push it through that way. That way you don't have to try and uh, get these fibers at the end, you know, twirl, well, you can twirl them up and stuff like that, but just folding it in half seems to work out really well. So what you do is you thread your needle. What we're gonna do is work on if there is a wrong side of your project we're going to work on the wrong side of the project so that way it won't show quite as much or if it does show at all which it, it really shouldn't show at all but if it does um, it's on the wrong side so all you need to do to uh, weave in your ends is you're just going to follow stitches and you're going to um, weave the uh, needle your yarn needle through stitches and I'm not going, I'm trying not to go all the way through to the other side. So I'm not actually poking through and going in and out and poking through. I'm actually just trying to pick up some stitches that are on this side and weave the yarn in through some of these stitches on this side. So I'm going to pull it through these stitches here. And then one of the things that's important is once you go one way, you want to actually go through another stitch and then go back the same way another stitch or two because this locks off those stitches I'm sorry I'm trying to do this right-handed and I'm moving the project all around so you want to head one way and then go through and around a stitch and head back the other way and that will lock it in real nice and tightly Okay, and then what we're going to do is just follow in some more stitches and just weave in any place else where you can put the yarn through, but not going through, like I said, not going through to the other side. I'll just weave in, and I like to go a little bit around my project so that I don't stay in one place because I think um, it can tend to be a little bit bulky. If you're working with a bulky yarn, then You'll, um, if you go back and forth in the same place, this yarn that you're using will end up um, being a little bit bulky, like I said. So what you're just trying to do is hide this yarn tail in between stitches. Oops, I just lost it. But that's okay, because I think that's we've done pretty good there. So now what I'm going to do is just cut off this tail as close as possible. And then the other little trick is pulling, you just kind of pull the project apart a little bit and then that stitch or that uh, yarn tail just virtually disappears. So now it's all nicely finished off and the yarn is in there and hidden away. Alright, so again it's noblenits.com and um, you can follow us on YouTube channel and you can like and subscribe and comment below and um, thanks for watching.